It was a wide-ranging interview, but we did spend a lot of time, of course, talking about the U.S. situation, which you alluded to there. Huawei has faced intense pressure from the Trump administration. It's been banned in the market for a very long time. The administration has accused the company of being a national security risk, saying that it could be used by the Chinese government for espionage. So I asked uh, Ren Zhengfei, he's the CEO and founder of Huawei, to address some of these concerns and also talk a little bit about Trump's leadership style as Huawei gets dra dragged into this U.S.-China trade war. Here's what he had to say. I would like to express my own opinions instead of as a Huawei representative. I would say he is a great president. He is the first president of a democracy to reduce taxes significantly within such a short period of time. His tax cuts are helping revitalize enterprises. That's why I said he is a great president. But he also has shortcomings. If President Trump continues intimidating other countries and companies and keeps randomly detaining people, who would risk investing in the U.S.? Huawei feels that it's been dragged into this U.S.-China trade war almost against as well. I asked Mr. Ren whether he thought he was a pawn in this entire battle between the U.S. and China. He said, well, if the U.S. is trying to use us in the pawn, they've got the wrong company because we can't influence the outcome of these trade talks. Even though early this year, uh, President Donald Trump said that Huawei could form part of a China-U.S. trade war. That, of course, remains to be seen um, as of yet. But Mr. Ren came out swinging. He said the criticism towards Huawei from the U.S. has actually been a great advertisement for the company globally, that actually the U.S. is scared of Huawei. That's why it's talking about uh, the company so much. So very strong words from a founder who's trying to defend his company from multiple attacks uh, from various governments around the world. There's plenty more of that interview on CNBC.com as well, including Mr. Ren talking about potentially being open to selling its 5G chips to Apple for iPhones. That, of course, would bring all sorts of uh, political scrutiny from the U.S. government if that were to happen as well. Guys, well, back can, to you in the studio. I didn't can you just help us with that piece of the interview? Because we, we talked about that headline a little bit earlier, this idea that he'd be open to that. And I said on the air, I said well, he might be open to it, but I don't think anybody else is going to be on the other end buying it. That, that's precisely the point. I'll give you a quick uh, rundown of Huawei's consumer business, now a very key business. They've been investing heavily in chip technology. Of course, we know China trying to uh, boost some of their intellectual property around chips. Uh, last year, they released the 5G modem uh, for its own smartphones. And, and that, you know, could see, be seen as a competitor to, to, say, some of Qualcomm's technology. Now, Huawei has typically reserved that for their smartphones, but they said that if Apple asked that they would be willing to talk about that and open discussions about providing technology. But you're absolutely right. I don't think that's something that the U.S. administration would want to go for. I don't think it's something that Apple potentially would want to get into a debate over publicly, uh, at least. If there are discussions that are uh, made public between Huawei and Apple, I think you're going to hear a lot of words from the U.S. Uh, administration discouraging Apple to go down that path.